out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Ladies and gentlemen, yo! First pitch coming your way next. Four for four yesterday. And he dodges that fastball. The line in the pitch. Ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And here it comes. And a four-pitch four. walk. One of the things about that two out is it account one and two. One and you got to give strike. some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no oh. doubt. And that just misses. Is a good one. Up the middle. Slides. He's got it. Not in time. He's safe. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts shortening up with two strikes. Sure comes up to him. Harry Nesbitt. Run around the move. There's a ball. Throw, save. That's a stolen base. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not his hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. That stolen base, excellent call. Now, all it takes is... Runner goes again. Got him swinging. Throw to third. Save. The pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. In to score from third, and they trail by one. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are tander, also throwing. That one drifts inside. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. The 3-1. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk here in the National League entering the day. Ball one, no strikes. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and know. use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Via at second with nobody out. Next well, pitch misses, and it's 3-0. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And he walked him. Pretty easy one. This one in the air right field. Diaz settles underneath it. He's got it. Both runners tagging. He's in there. That is good. Christian Brady, the next cup to hit. Man at second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is low. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And he deals. In the air, out towards right center. Touches down, that's a hit. The throw into second, and he's into second with nobody out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit. Maybe slide out to right this first trip. 
Three two now. Runner takes off on the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Reaching for it and brings it in. Cup strength. It's a good take. The one two. And a ball yep. evens the count. If you're in the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Three, and now it's three and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The kick, the three, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two on the way. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And that's ball four. Second walk, the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. He's trying for third. In there for strike three. Throw safe. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hand. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Baseball coming up on this Memorial Day. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago Cubs. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team in home runs and runs batted in. Nigel Beal leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them off. Just a machine in terms of production right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Sports, basketball, football. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Come on, let it fly right here. Position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality okay. strike. Swing and a miss, three and two now. On the ground to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Runner at second here, one gone. And he walked him. The pitch. The other way. Jumps, but it's off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and they don't get an out on the play. In the air, left field. Crumb on the move. Makes the grab. Both runners tagging. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 5-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job. And, and a pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And there's ball four. You know, I th he reached out a walk his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Beal getting to start at third. A member of the 3,000 hit club. And he's a two-time home run derby champion. That one ripped. This looks like extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands. At second base with a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't. Comes up to him. Alan Yamada. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Dives and he can't hang on. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they get it out of the play. Joel Beal. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. And a base hit right there. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Wasting no time. He's two for two now the on the hit. night. And yeah, just a trip. Bounced out to short. Ha. On the run. Throw to first. And he'll be safe at first. Now cut it. But as a fielder, the speed of the game. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And a base hit right there. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some. No, so that no, was nice about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 8-4. Oh, that's a quality at bat right. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Go. Go. On third base side. Field. Got him trying to bunt for a hit. Well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield to see where they were playing before laying that one down. And everyone was playing back. He was Let's go, big dog. Your spot. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The back. Cup to hit. He's over one. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, with that kind of elite. Alberto Villa. And he's already singled in this game. And the righty deals. Runner breaks for third. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Singleton. Here's the catcher. Ahmad Stoitsiadis. This to third, Beal. They take the force out, inning over, and it could have been worse. One run in the inning, but they... Two down, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive. Crump going back, back some more. Looking up, makes the catch up against the wall. Line drive, base hit, right center field. McManus, around second, headed for third. In to score from first, it's 2-0. And he's got an RBI triple. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch. The Alan Yamada, outfield playing very deep, not wanting any. That to right, Fernandez. Glides to his left, and he makes the catch. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in on the sack fly, and he can hit the reset button from here going forward. There's still a chance on, that his club up. can win this ball game. Dives, and it gets by. Now he'll turn for second. Around second now, as they still don't have it. Beal coming home. The relay. Safe. He comes all the way around for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most being inside the parker, and man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Man, a driver's seat with the 3 1 count. Right hander kicks deals on the ground, left side, six. 
four, three, but it's not in time, and they just get one. Now they had the chance to turn in two right there. Runner, yes, yes. Runner on the go again. Cut on and missed. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. I don't think you can... Trevor Hoffman way. This is Petco Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, yo! San Diego pitch, Trevor, right here. And the pitch. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Boots it. Uh, it could have been two outs. Instead, they get none. Oh, he throws it away. Around third. He'll score. It's two zip. This one in the air right field. Pile drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. The throws <laughs> offline. He's saved. And they lead by three. There you go. Nice. Right. On the ground to short. Right, you got that one, boy. And it gets by him. On, the pitch. Runner on the goal. They pitch out. Throw to second. See. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball outside and safe. It's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark. And especially and safe. It's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. And now the lefty. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. A couple of singles back to back. 